A Spirit Airlines passenger whose luggage was stolen took matters into her own hands and tracked it down to a house in Fort Lauderdale. Now an airport employee is under arrest and charged with grand theft. Is this all part of a larger theft ring, though? Local 10 investigator Jeff Weinsier is on the case. I need my computer because I go to university, so I need my computer, no matter what. Paola Garcia stood at Carousel 4 inside Terminal 4 at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International, watching fellow passengers receive their luggage. And I've been waiting there for at least three hours. Garcia tells us she always carries on board her pink hard shell suitcase. It fits in the overhead, but she says for some reason this time, Spirit employees forced her to check it. The suitcase never hit this conveyor belt. That's because as she was waiting, according to an arrest affidavit and pictures, 29-year-old Junior Bazile apparently had her pink hard shell suitcase in the back of an airport retail store where he worked. Pictures show him rummaging through it, her MacBook, two watches, an iPad, jewelry, designer clothes all taken, and back at the terminal and unaware, Spirit told Garcia not to worry. We send you luggage to your house. So I give my right. address to a spirit. But the next morning, her Apple Watch is sending a signal, but not from the airport. You're at home, and your watch is pinging at a house in Fort Lauderdale. 15 minutes from the airport. So you decide to go to this house? Yes, because I said, how is spirit move my suitcase there? The Apple Watch is signal coming from this house at 1017 Northwest 11th Court. So you pull up to the house and you see luggage and suitcases all over the place outside? Everywhere, yes. One, two, three, four. She dialed 911. The first things I remember the police told me is like, what are you doing here? This is so dangerous for you to be here. A Broward Sheriff's detective put that house address into an internal database here at the airport and found that Junior Bazile worked here for a company that operates retail stores and he was working that day. These pictures were obtained through an investigation. Bazile had already gotten rid of the items when he was arrested and charged with grand theft. How are you? We went to that house to talk to Bazile. You know he was stealing luggage from the airport, for people's luggage? My daughter tell me that. He never tell me that. He wasn't home. We had a pleasant, cordial, seven minute plus conversation with his mother who never asked us to leave and answered all of our questions it is because the police come in here no. they they don't find nothing in my house but when we told her at one point garcia's apple watch was pinging from inside of her house this happened that was coming from your house Stop! i told you if you don't want to go to jail with me I she yanks the ID right off my neck and then claims that I hit her. Yes, yes, put me in the camera. Put me in the camera. Put me in the camera. Police looked at the video. That's your proof you come to slap me. They got me my ID back and no charges were filed. Days later, Junior Bazile was in court for a status on that grand theft charge. I think we have a right to Go ask away, you, you're stealing passing passengers' Go. luggage? Go away, sir. Nothing to say to the lady whose stuff you took? Go away. In a statement to Local 10 News, Spirit Airlines said, quote, we issued a reimbursement check to the guest as a courtesy, even though we are not currently aware of any evidence that any Spirit employee was involved. Reimbursed as a courtesy? An airport spokesperson said passenger bags checked in with an airliner under that carrier's care and responsibility. A spokesperson for Parity Shops where Bazile worked had no comment. Is this part of a bigger ring? I think it's a, a group working in the airport. One person no can do that. They just take bus. The police reports don't say how Bazile got his hands on the suitcase. Broward Sheriff's Office says this is still under investigation. Jeff Weinsier, Local 10 News.